Hmm. So, on top of the other issues I've been facing, so I've yet to be addressed. As it turns out, there was a data breach where I live. That's fun. So, I will pause a note that gives me another opportunity to give you another Sun and Moon Ultra Avengers Vlog on episode 68. Eisenstein, Starship, main, which this one focuses mostly on Sophocles and, and the Ultra Beast Celestial Law. I also like how it has some allusions to the, who the tale of Princess Kogia and how it has much more modern take that gives it a sci-fi twist. I mean, it's so, I mean, one of my associates pointed this out and you know the one like I've mentioned before that, and personally, yeah, I'm gonna let him know right now that that John, no, nothing personal about Generation Eight either. So, and so it starts off with, hey, the, and Sophocles' parents camping to watch, watch the moon rise, and I definitely I like a little detail before he even finds the beastie. The token of our socks he wears in her shoes. I want some. Whether or not it's it's official or fan made, someone hope someone will make those token of socks happen. Yeah. And on top of this, after Sophocles' classmates hates think he's trying to pull a fast one, he takes them to the site of the beast and actually help helps them excavate it. It, dig it out, and also even his charger bug summons a bunch of grub in to help dig it out. So that's def this is definitely such a, a unique saga, and I love it so much. I mean, this is just a really good episode. I mean, you know, I really enjoy it. I mean, and and also definitely also points information back to the Aether Foundation, and since it is an Ultra Beast after all they've discovered and that being the case is the need to not only he need to return it back to space before it can launch its gas having to build an insular uh, wall around it but uh, if they don't do that it's gonna burn down the whole bamboo forest and it's definitely a nice little nod uh, to how powerful the beast is I mean and all things considered, it's definitely a, a another unique a one as home for the Ultra Guardians, who definitely go off very much of a Toku Salt to buy to it all, and even some similarities to Give Me Instance Thunderbirds, where they launch out of the base. And of course, Team Rocket, when they're just hunting for bamboo, catches wind of this, and also has one of their Meowth Mechas, as which, like their previous one, they had in the last season, Ender was controlled by Meowth's movements, kind of like G God number three. Boom. I'm not really into that spinoff, but and there. But even as the ultra, the ultra be ultra guardians defend, Celestella is able to get out through the the and with the intro wall. Oh, they actually manage to have they punch out their own mecha through sheer force as. Beware takes him home, and and the and the Ultra Beast takes him to space. Insert Command and Conquer Tim Curry or Portal Two scene here. Yeah. So, I really enjoyed this episode. I would, I definitely think that the Ultra Beast are a unique concept, and each one of the show that's featured them has managed to much like in the games. It, Especially after you go find them in Ultra, uh, as well as even in the base on the moon, about how how it manages to bring a unique flavor to their their verse. So hopefully, hey, I'll be able to make more progress on this. I uh, mean, I just took kind of a breather yesterday. Hey, I'm on the fence about doing another one on Thursday. I definitely know I want to finally finish my and the previous volume of journey so I can officially give you my thoughts on on the fourth volume um, that's been streaming on Netflix I mean thanks and with that 
That's another one down. Down. I have I have only 22 episodes left. Dress now. I'll jump in 23, and I will definitely talk to you all later. Hmm.